So today we're going to be looking at this package called a squeeze, which allows us to build ggplots without having to type any code at all. So super useful for exploratory data analysis, or if you just want to generate these ggplots without having to type, also pretty useful for that. So in order to get started, all you have to do are run these two lines, install.packages, a squeeze, and then library, a squeeze. This will install the package and then load it up into your RStudio. And then if you go up to the top in RStudio, you'll see this button that says add-ins. You click on that and you should see something that says ggplot to builder. But before we open that up, I'm gonna go ahead and open up our data frame that we'll be working with called serial, which has the names of some serials, the manufacturers, some nutritional info, and the ratings. So let's go ahead and open up our ggplot2 builder. And you see we get the screen that says select a data set. So I'll click serial. We have the option to keep our variables or discard some of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep them all. And you'll see that there's a legend showing us the types of variables uh, that our columns are. So most of these are uh, continuous, but we've got some discrete ones and an ID up here. You also have the option to coerce your variables in case you wanna do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything the way it is. So I'll click validate imported data. Great, so we have this box with all of our variables or columns, and then we have some boxes underneath. And if we drag our variables into these boxes, it'll start generating our plots. There's also this button here that shows us the types of plots that we can work with. These are all the, the I think the default GG plots. We've also got the option to add labels or titles to choose different colors or color palettes, themes of our ggplot, and the position of the legend to filter out some of our data. And then lastly, to export our ggplot whenever we generate it into our RStudio, or just download it as an image or a PowerPoint file. So I wanna see if there's a relationship between the rating of these cereals and the calories of the cereals, because my hypothesis is that the higher calories the cereal, the better it'll taste, and the higher the rating will be but let's see if that holds any water. So I'll grab calories and put it down in the X and you can see a plot is already generated. Then we're gonna grab rating, throw it down into our Y and we get the scatter plot. Now it's a little small, so I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size. And I also wanna see if there's a relationship. I kind of see it's trending downwards, but just to confirm, let's go ahead and add a smooth line. And we can see that it is interestingly enough, a general downward trend and then it kind of flattens off after 120 calories. So that's pretty cool, but I'm gonna go ahead, close out of this, reopen our ggplot2 builder. Let's make another graph. So again, we'll keep the same settings. And if you've ever used Tableau or even the Excel pivot charts, you'll see that the interface is really similar, so not too difficult to learn. Now the other plot I wanna build is showing the ratings between uh, two manufacturers, specifically Kellogg's and General Mills, to see who has the better cereals. So we'll grab our manufacturer names, put that in our X, grab our, sorry, grab our rating, which is down here, throw that into our Y, and we get a box plot that's automatically generated. But let's say we wanted a violin chart or something, we can go ahead up here and hit violin, and you can see that it just automatically changes our plot for us. There are also some other options like the bar, um, but you can see that there are also some other options that are disabled because they only work if you have the right data type inside of these boxes. So we'll leave our box plot. We're gonna also grab manufacturer name and throw it in fill just to get a legend on the right side. And I mentioned that we only wanna look at General Mills and Kellogg's. So we're gonna filter out some of this data down here and just X out all the stuff we don't want, just like that. And then the last thing, is just adding some titles and labels. Awesome, just like that. And once we're done, we can go ahead and click export and code and hit this that says insert code into script. And all it does is it puts it right in our R Studio, which is perfect. So once we close out of this, you can see that we, if we run all this code, I'm actually not gonna run it because it throws in this line that filters out our data permanently, which I don't wanna do. Um, so I'm actually going to call this serial2 and call this serial2 just so we're not overwriting our original serial variable. I'll run this and it creates our new serial2 data frame with just General Mills and Kellogg's. I'll load in our ggplot2 library and then I'll run our ggplot. And you can see just like that, it generates this plot for us. So a squeeze is actually really useful. If I didn't know ggplot that well, 
it definitely would have taken me some time and a lot of Googling to figure out exactly how to get this into this amount of code. But I will say that it does have its shortcomings. I'd say a squeeze is kind of glitchy sometimes and it sometimes will try to do something and a ton of warnings will pop up. So for instance, if I grab cereal and I want to do the rating and calories and we also have the legend, or sorry, we're, we're coloring by these points and then we grab a smooth line, we try doing that, we just get a ton of warnings. So this software isn't perfect, we can X out of all of these and it will actually, whoops, it will actually give us what we want, but it is still a little glitchy. I will say though that it is great that it can import whatever the plot is, it can convert that into code and give that to us. It would be nice to actually be able to build my own ggplot and then somehow get import that code into the Esqueez interface so I could further modify it. That being said, I think that this program is great though, but if you're trying to learn ggplot too, I'd say that Esqueez kind of acts as training wheels, which isn't a bad thing. I think that can be really useful. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something and I'll catch you in the next one.